previously on Survivor Roleplay. It's the roses. Good afternoon. I'm looking for Wynn. That's me. I have some news regarding the tractor that hit you. A male has been arrested. You can thank Penny here for reporting him to us. Penny? I didn't mean to get mad at you earlier. With everything that's happened recently, I let my emotions get the better of me. You've done the right thing. I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me? Penny? Just promise me something. Never judge me again. I promise. You can say it. I'm an idiot. Yes, you are. But maybe I am too. Now that we're even, do you think we can start over? I'd love to. If you ever fancy asking me out for a drink again, I might be tempted. <laughs> Let me just finish off here, and we'll go to the pub. You have to ask me first. Oh. <laughs> um. Penny? Will you be my girlfriend? That wasn't the question I was thinking of, but I might be interested. Is that a yes? <laughs> yes, Win. I'd love to be. Ah, another beautiful day. Now we have one field left to harvest and I'm really hoping today is the day that it can be harvested. So we're gonna get over to the farm in just a minute, but first of all, we're gonna go and see Penny. She is hopefully at the dealership. The reason why I want to visit her, well, there's a few reasons, but the, the main business reason is because really, we need a new tractor. We need one with a front loader. Because I need to move these bales, but I just can't really. Uh, because we just do not have a tractor front loader or a telehandler. Now I don't think the dealership has any telehandlers. I might be wrong, but certainly uh, from when I've looked in the past, uh, I've not seen any. Having said that, they might keep some elsewhere. I'm not too sure, but no, I can't see any telehandlers here. Uh, is Penny in? Yeah, Penny's there. Fantastic. Good morning, Wynn. I had fun last night. Hi, Penny. Me too. I might have had one too many. I didn't know you were so interested in stamp collecting. Oh no, I didn't start talking to you about that, did I? You sure did. <laughs> well, I didn't know you were so interested in... Hmm. What are you interested in? That's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> anyway, what can I do for you today? Well, I'm looking to buy a new tractor. I need one with a front loader. We recently got that Case 1455 with a front loader, if you're interested. Can I have a look around it? Of course. Thanks. Okay, so Penny has said that this tractor over here is for sale. I can't run, it's just too painful. But um, yeah, it is a Case International 1455 XL, which looks to be actually in really good condition. This has had a good owner. Um, and it looks like they've done a few modifications. It's got a strobe on the top, wow. Got beacons uh, and some pretty new tires they look brand new and of course most importantly for me the front loader and it does have a bail spike on it so that we yeah basically ready to go yeah this is this is good uh, let's see if it's locked I think Penny did say that it's uh, open yep and I do have a key for it I better not drive it but yeah, this this is lovely. This is exactly what I'm looking for. The only other concern, of course, is and there's, there's no rear weight, which you wouldn't really expect. Uh, we could potentially order one separately, or maybe just for this year, we could stick a implement on the back to act as a counterweight. Uh, some of these wellers are in here. There's some tools in here too. But no, this, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I wonder how much it is. I bet it's really expensive. It looks out of my price range. Now, we're doing well, and we're actually going to make some more money today because we do have another field to harvest, but it just... Yeah, it, it just doesn't seem... me, exactly. It's just too... well, 
modern, I guess. Penny, that tractor looks to be exactly what I need. How much is it? Eighteen thousand pounds. Hmm. That, that sounds all right. I'm going to buy it, please. That is brilliant. Great. Do you want to pay for it now? Uh, no, I think I'll uh, use it for a few years and then pay for it later. <laughs> we will soon be out of business if we do that for all of our customers. <laughs> okay, eighteen thousand pounds. There we are. Thank you for your business. Maybe I'll see you later then. I'd like that. I should be finished around five today, so do you want me to come and pick you up? Sounds great. Have fun with the new tractor. I will do. Bye, Pen. Well, since we've been here, the weather's gone a lot gloomier. Anyway, yeah, it's mine. That tractor is mine. We obviously need to get it home. Um, I'm wondering if I should actually leave the Land Rover here and take that tractor now. We don't actually need that tractor just yet, but it is going to be needed today. I'll just park this around the back here, completely out of the way. I'll tell Penny and uh, yeah, we'll get going. Oh, this is so good. Right. Uh, let's see if I can drive this. Still very, very painful with my bad foot. I'll have to take it steady. But yeah, I am starting to get the hang of this now, driving all these different machines. Mainly thanks to Peter, because he has such a wide range of different tractors. Okay. Yeah, hopefully it's not going to rain. That would just be a disaster, because I need to get this field done. Uh, it's getting late in the season. Need to get it harvested. It's currently dry, so if it rains now, it would just be a write-off today, probably, because there's not much sun around. But yeah, we'll get it down to the grain merchant, and then we can bale the field, and then we can start to really move bales around, and then the main focus is going to be on getting cows, finally. <laughs> You can see me using this tractor an awful lot. More than the 1200 now, I suppose. Ah, oh, Dennis. I wonder what Dennis thinks to it. Shall we ask him? Hello, Dennis. What do you think to the new tractor? We've finally saved up enough money to be able to buy it. Oh, well, I don't think too much of it, really. What are you trying to be, a Christmas tree? A Christmas tree? Oh, why? All those flashing lights on the roof. Oh, they just came with it. Just some strobe lights. Oh, well, have you got a Christmas elf in there as well? Maybe a few reindeer? Blimey! Christmas has come early. Just a few lights, Dennis. <laughs> it wasn't even me that fitted them. Anyway, just thought I'd show you them. Because um, it's going to be so handy for moving those bales. Oh, why? Yeah, those bales that I made. And a really good job I did do. You did. And I appreciate it. I, I do appreciate your help. Anyway, we must get on. Got that field over there to do. Right, oh, Peter. See you later. Win. Win, Dennis. Well, I haven't entered anything. Now can I win? No, I'm win. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. Well, see you later, win. <laughs> he started early. Anyway, yes, let's, um put this tractor, well let's turn those beacons off maybe he's got a point <laughs> uh, yeah let's just put this tractor over here because we've, we've still got Peter's tractor over here uh, with the trailer which we're going to use in just a second we will have to take it back to him um, and we need to get the combine started really but I am a bit concerned about this weather it's not looking great so I think the sooner we get going the better, actually we'll just get the combine into the field now
That was good of him. Dennis, thanks. Appreciate it. Not at all, Wynn. If you need anything else, just give me a shout. Okay, brilliant. Thanks. Okay, well, as we're sort of in the crop here, I'm just going to start where we are. We are going to swath it. Oh, Dennis has got back in the tractor. Just having a break. Uh, I have noticed this, actually. I think ever since the stress has been taken off him, because he doesn't actually have to run the farm anymore, he's become much nicer and much more helpful. Because he's, he's obviously not getting paid. Uh, actually, did he get paid? Maybe he did get paid. Did Peter pay him? For that bail work, he might have done. But, um, yeah, obviously he's not, he's not employed here. So he's just sort of <laughs> having fun driving stuff. I just hope he's got enough money to keep paying the rent. Don't want to lose Dennis. Anyway, yeah, this barley is looking good. We do have the corn. Not ready yet, though. Uh, that'll be later on, probably sort of October time. Uh, it's almost September. It's still August at the moment, though. So just taking the headland off, probably go around here a couple of times and then I will probably unload and then we can start to just go across the field, getting it all done as neatly as possible so I make it easy for doing the bailing. Just got to hope this weather holds off. It looks worse than it is because we've got so much dust on the windows. I really should give this combine a clean, but this is our last field so it can have its winter service uh, very soon, probably in the winter. And yeah. It will be uh, as good as new for the next season. But I think it's been a good harvest. A really good harvest. I just wish my timing of having a broken foot uh, had been different. You know, uh, having it broken at peak harvest time is just not ideal. But I think as a team, We've pulled it off, and uh, yeah, I, I regret being horrible to Penny because she's just so lovely, and I think I almost messed up with her. Well, just at the very end there, the clouds have started to break and there's a good gap in the sky, so the sun has come out. Much more cheery. Anyway, Dennis is still here. But we'll just park this on the grass here. Make sure we can get through with the tractor and baler. Should be okay. And yeah, Dennis, let's just squeeze through here. Ah, oh, I was just having a good nap. Right, shall I head off to the grain merchant? If you can do, yeah, please, that would be great. Oh, but please, please don't lose the ticket. Oh, what do you take me for, Win? Blimey, as if I'd do that. Well, that was terrifying to watch. Did he actually just make that turn without crashing? <laughs> wow. It, it turns out Dennis is a bit of an expert at reversing trailers. That's a hidden gift. Well, not so hidden anymore. Anyway, as for the bailing, I think as we now do have a much more powerful tractor, although I don't know the horsepower of it, but it must be more than that. I'm going to put this tractor on the baler because that one was struggling a bit. It was not not too easy for it. 
So we'll just quickly spin around. Of course we do have the bale spike on. I'm not going to take it off. It is going to be needed very, very soon. I am hoping to get cows next month. But of course, with this we are going to have to have some hay. So I think my plan is to get that field behind us cut and uh, yeah, it's going to have to be bailed up pretty soon. So uh, I, I think next time that is going to be the job, basically bailing that field so we can get the hay in and buying the cows. So we're ready. Let's get this into that field. I have absolutely no idea how many bales we're going to make out of it. Uh, probably, if I was to have a guess, it would be a real guess. Uh, five? But yeah, I don't know. Peter's very busy at his farm today. So I don't think we're going to be seeing him. Okay, hopefully Dennis is doing alright. Just got to watch these trees with the front loader up in the air. I could lower it a bit. Yeah, I don't know. Five? Maybe that is not enough, but we'll soon find out. The good thing is this tractor is pulling it easier than the 1200 pulled it. Well worth the upgrade. Well, not really an upgrade, an addition. It's as well as the 1200. Well, I have just seen Dennis, he's just returned, and we actually did finish off with, I believe, five bales, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, was quite a good guess. Anyway, we will move those five bales, we're going to put them into the shed, we're just going to take the baler back first of all, and I hope that this tractor just has enough weight anyway to be able to lift up two at a time. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll just have to put some kind of implement on the back, uh, but that's not a major problem. And that was the last field to be baled, so this baler really should go in a shed. I don't really want to put stuff into the workshop, because that is obviously a workshop. We're not using the sheep field, and probably won't be for a while, so I could just keep this gate closed, and then we can just block this gate. We can actually access that field from another way anyway. Maybe at some point we'll have another shed built. But I don't think Peter is going to get that bed and breakfast finished for the time he said. He's been doing more work up there. Um, but what did he say? September originally. It's never going to be September. No way. But hopefully this winter he'll get the buildings finished. So let's just remove the PTO shafts and the hoses. There we go and we'll move the bales. So here we go, this is the test. Can we pick up two at a time? It's looking promising. I say that because we've picked up one and it doesn't feel any lighter on the back at all. So hopefully if we can get two together, we'll be able to do two. But yeah, even if we couldn't do two, it's not a big problem. We only have five anyway. There we go. And now, let's go for those two together. Perfect. And even if I try and make it do a wheelie, yeah, I can't. 
so it can lift way more than the weight of two of these round bales. Perfect. So into the shed they go. I think we can actually get a few more up here. This front level, front upper level can be increased. Oh, careful. There we go. Don't want to crush Dennis. And, well, there is space for one more up there, actually. We could go even higher, like a pyramid, but I'm not going to do that. Site foreman looks happy, so it must be alright. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Hey, hey, Win, get this thing corrected. Penny, whatever's the matter? Oh, Win, I've just lost my job at the garage. What? Why? You're the only good worker that garage has. Uh, Win, can you come and fix this bale? It's gonna tip over. They think I've been stealing money from them. That's crazy. You're the most honest and hard-working lady I've ever met. Told you. Forget about it, Dennis. Tell that to the manager. He's convinced I stole the money. Come on, let's sort this mess out. Thank you, Win. I'm afraid we'll have to go in the tractor. It's going to be a little cosy. I wonder why nobody ever listens to me. Oh, well. I should probably get used to it. <laughs> 